Go ahead. Let me go ahead. And, let's go ahead and do this. So what I'm saying here. All right. Come on, Miss Feminist. Maybe. Come on, Miss Feminist. That shit didn't work on Donovan Sharp. It ain't going to work on me either. No. It's I'm not, not going to work on me. I, if you didn't have a good time with Donovan, you're not going to have a good time with me. You are being hostile. You're not even I'm not being speak. hostile. I'm just being direct. Yes, you are. Okay, lady. Let you me tell are. you something right now. I'm not being hostile. I'm being direct. If you're going to use the word, use okay. them appropriately. Okay, so you can have some type of politeness and some interest. I'm having politeness, ma'am, but I'm not going to have you to condescend to me. First off, you came I'm in not. and you said the, you said it incorrectly. I didn't say what you said. So let's do this. Let's start over. What did you think that you heard I said? What did you think I said? You say that the women after the age of 25 or 20 something, they are, you know, they cannot have the ability to secure a man that can le let them stay at home after, you know, having children. That's not what I and said. I, That's not what I said. That's your interpretation. That's not what I said. But go ahead. Yes. So I believe that your teaching somehow kills the women's hope because it is possible indeed for a female after the age of 25 secure a high value man. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's define secure. What do you mean by secure? Being married, marry him. Okay. And how old are you? Being his wife. I'm 27. How old is your husband? I'm single. I'm in a relationship, but I'm but not But you're married. not secure. No, right. for option. Right. So what does your husband do for a living? He's not my husband. He's a boyfriend. Oh, okay. He's a CEO. Right, yeah, he's, he's a CEO. He's a CEO. Great, but what... Yes. Okay, what's your... What, so, uh, how long have you been with your uh, fiancé? I think one year, one year and two months. Okay. Yeah. He's a fiancé? No, he's a boyfriend. Okay, he's a boyfriend. Okay, in two months. Okay. Um, do you want to marry him? I don't know because he don't want to have kids. So oh, do you it's want to something have children? that I'm kind of concerned. Yes, in the future. So you know you want to have children, but you're still with a man who doesn't want to have them. Aren't because you, he might on, change his on, mind. Hold on, ma'am. Aren't you kind of destroying your hopes for children? Maybe yes, maybe, maybe not. Maybe? No, no, ma'am. You know you want to have children. You know he does not. And you've been with him for 14 months. Aren't you destroying your own hope for children? But I can't convince him. I can't change oh, his mind. Oh, exactly. So you can convince a CEO to change his mind on children. Has he been married before? Yes. Does he have any children? Went no all he right not, he don't have all right he does not have any children so his first his wife could not convince him to have kids but you think his girlfriend can all right next point um if he was not a ceo would you still be with him absolutely yes you would. He has so if, amazing he drove qualities. Uber, if you drove if he drove uber you would be there not that low as well oh okay you know, so there is a low. there is a there is an economic bottom floor that you will be willing to accept exactly right because i uh, because you understand because, i get it so ma'am i'm telling women the realities that you've just laid out and even you're willing to accept them so how am i destroying women's hopes when you're willing to accept them in your life what i'm saying here is that when you pull these you know tragic ends for women who are on above the age of you know no no ma'am it's not 30s. tragic it's it's statistical ma'am they're just facts it's not tragic because okay let me tell you about the high value people that i know no here no ma'am i don't want to know about the high value people you know i like to keep it in no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am see i don't you can't you called to talk to me about what i said i don't want to talk about yes. the people you don't know all i need to know about is you are you a high value woman? Of course I am. So why are you with a man who does not want to make you his wife? He asked me to marry him, but the fact that he doesn't on, want to have hold kids, on, hold on, I kind of... ma'am. He actually proposed to you? Yes. He dropped to one knee in, in public and dropped and gave you a ring of significant heritage and asked you to was be his wife? Was not in public. Was not in oh, public. Oh, okay. Was of course not. Me, of course not. Family, it wasn't in public. Of course it wasn't in public. Of course, of course not. It wasn't in public. Never is. 
And what and what month was this, man? His mother, oh, his oh, father. Hold on, ma'am. You've been together 14 months. You've been together 14. You can't well. talk over me, ma'am. I will. Yes. And, and what month did he propose to you without a ring in public? Was uh, on the eight uh, after we we kind of turned like uh, eight months of relationship. Okay. He yes. Eight months. Yeah. He proposed to you without a ring and not in public. And you said what? No, he proposed me with a ring in front of his family. Okay, well, okay. And you said what? Yes. I say I'm not sure exactly, oh, you know, okay. because I, you said you're he not told sure, me from the you, beginning. You said you're not sure, but you're still there six months later. Because, you know, I think people can change. You know, he changed so many things in this relationship mm -hmm. that he was not willing to change. So I think this what might so, be something else that he might later realize that maybe he needs to have kids in his life right so because, so so again a man who's a ceo who's and how large is yeah. the company that he, that he runs it's a big company it's a company that makes about 30 million euros no a no year. no but but how so, many employees uh i think it's about 500 so you mean to tell me so we don't you mean count tell, international so, excuse ones me, excuse me so you mean a man who runs a company of 500 people and has to make decisions for 500 people can't make decisions yeah. for his own life i think he i think he knows what he wants that's why he's in charge that doesn't mean anything no no Just no because no no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no, ma see you said he could change his mind he could but men, ceos are leaders for a reason he has a direction he's going and that's why he gets the big bucks but yet you think you're going to get him to change and the woman that he married didn't get him to change I have, an, I have a better question for you, though. Would yes. you advise young ladies to do what you're doing? Absolutely not, because, you know, my oh, way okay. of thinking, my so that, way of so operating that's good. At least we're different. on the same page with that. You would not advise young yeah. ladies to do what you're doing. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell them what's wrong with what you're doing. Yes. You know, I, I think that right now, I mean, it's I'm in a stage of, you know, kind of waiting uh, maybe more four months to see how things are going to evolve. And if he says, like, you know, I really don't want to have children. I want to be like a child free man. And then I might, you know, go find someone who have the same goals as me in the future. So, so if I yeah. recall correctly, when you were going back and forth with Donovan, you if I'm if I'm correct, I thought you said you yeah. have high value men around you. You know high value men. Yes. So why are of you dealing course. with this person who does not want what you want? If you have other options. Because because there is something called for some people, you know, the financial uh, thing is the most important thing. You know, financial people who so have a lot of money. I get you it. Have so that. he has enough money. He has. So, oh, no. no. So he has enough money. Yeah. So he has enough money to get you to waste your womb time. No, he has other qualities. No, ma'am, that's person. no, ma'am. He doesn't have those qualities if he were driving Uber. You said that. At no, the end of the day, no, ma'am. You at know, the end of the you, day, you asked me about the high value. At the thing end of the day, at the end of the him. at the end of the day, ma'am. You have proven my point. You would not even advise women to do what you're doing, ladies. Listen to what your godfather has been telling you. I have no dog in the fight to try to hurt you. But this woman came in and even justified and made the point through her own life. Over a certain age, you don't have as much leverage as you think you do. And you're not going to get a high value man to change. He is who he is and he says what he says. You're not going to convince him to all of a sudden decide to want to have kids if he doesn't want you have a choice remember when i talked to when i said to that other young lady high value men don't tell you what to do they just say this is what i will and i won't be willing to accept it's up to this woman to decide whether or not she wants to stay or leave Go ahead. but i think you now let me you know take it talking my points because you are more well because i'm running right my, because i'm running my because debated. i'm not letting you talk your points because i'm running my show it's not about you. See, you're coming over here for attention. That's why you're looking in the calls, looking in the comment section versus having a conversation. I'm not even looking in the comment section. But I'll tell you what. Here's what we do for women like you. You can go ahead and have the last word. 
Go ahead and have the last word. I just think that the way you kind of operate. Uh, the yeah, way the way you I kind of operate. operate. So I get, get it. Yeah. It's... It did not work on Donovan Sharp, and you darn sure weren't going to make it work on me. I know who you are, and I gave you an opportunity, and you still said it. No, I would not advise a woman to do what I'm doing, yet you're still doing it. No one needs to listen to you. That in and of itself is all anyone needs to hear, especially women. That's why I have women coming back over here night after night because they're tired of this same inane psycho babble BS that comes out of so many women's mouths when they can look at the evidence of these these women's lives and say why should anyone listen to you she's with the man because he has money fine but he told her what it is I'm not having kids and she's still there. See, that's what I'm talking about, gentlemen. This is why you want to become a high value man. Because when you make a line, they'll dance. Do you think he would have the kind of power, influence, or whatever to get a woman to, to decide to stay and wait and try to play the waiting game if he was not high value? 